Hey guys, it's Riker Rider, and this is Super Paper Mario. Welcome back to the Duel of 100. We are going to pick up at Gate 51. The scenery changes every 25 rounds. Um, since I'm going to be going back to the college uh, a few days from now, my update schedule is... I don't know if it's going to change any, but you will most likely see fewer... Not fewer videos from me, but you'll see update gaps from time to time when I get flooded with work. It's mainly because Thursday, like Tuesday, I'm probably gonna run my D&D game. Thursday, I'm Thursday. I have a commitment to uh, EDH night at uh, a local card shop. Friday's FNM. So pretty much the only chances I'll be able to record are during the weekend, and I might not get a chance to record every weekend simply because. Of that's when I'd be doing a lot of my work. Because Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I have a really crappy schedule. It's like class, two hour break, class, two hour break, class. wait to see my buddies again, but... Uh, they're just... But then the whole thing with just getting overwhelmed with work. Ah, uh, that's life. When you're not on summer vacation, anyway. I was supposed to have taken a summer class, um, but it got cancelled because not enough people registered. I throw more of the guys with the spike helmets at you towards the end, which is why uh, Bowser Carry is a pretty good combo for for doing this area. But I just prefer Mario Kudge because that's what I've always used. I've still got just under 400 HP or resources to go. I'll make it. I've actually never beaten the Duel 100 before. I got up to Gate 100 once, and then I just ran out of items, despite restarting a whole bunch of times. Hmm. 
If I recall, jumping over the flagpole got you in a lot of trouble in the Mario games. Ha! Unfortunately, because I have the player's choice version of Metroid Prime, I can't sequence break like he suggests. Otherwise, I would have gotten the Space Jump Boots as my first item, just so I wouldn't have to go all the way back to Talon Overworld after going to Fendrana, and the item after that is in Fendrana, like I said. Although we actually have to get a lot of things in Fendrana next. All their names are supposed to be amusing. What do you expect? Oh, the blargs from Yoshi's Island were moderately annoying. I need to dig up Yoshi's Island DS and play it again. Oh no, a boss. Uh. I don't know why I didn't bring a life shroom here, just in case I wasn't keeping an eye on my HP. Well, I know I'm not going to be... You know what? I actually don't think I'm going to be hitting a level. I thought I'd gain XP faster than this. Either that or I'll gain a level at a point where it really won't matter. Because I'll be so close to the end that... It'd be so horrible if I got a level on the last guy. I don't even know what the chances are of that because I don't know how much XP he gives. My guess would be 3k. needs to make a nostalgia fact on uh, game facts for this game. That'd be awesome. To show, like, the myriad of references there are to uh, the rest of the Mario series. And Nintendo's other series in general. Unfortunately, I don't think they could have referenced DKC, because uh, the DKC series is owned by Rare now. And Rare doesn't work with Nintendo anymore. That really pissed me off when, um, Ninten when Rare decided to work for Microsoft instead of uh, uh, Nintendo. That, me that means that uh, Banjo-Kazooie will never be able to uh, get put on the virtual console. As a matter of fact, I think those two games are up for download on Xbox Live. There was supposed to be a third Banjo game for N64, or either N64 or GameCube, but because... Rare decided to sell to Microsoft. 
Rare was such a good game designer too. Um, in the more the more recent years, or rather, the end of their life with Nintendo, because I've seen the uh, the banjo games that they've produced since they went to Microsoft, and they've really just not been up to par with the Nintendo ones. Anyway, I gotta stop here because I'm running out of time.